If you're a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want more money to fund your deals, regardless of your credit, your experience or your income, don't go anywhere because we're getting ready to plug you into the money in just a moment. Welcome to the Jay Connor show. I'm Jay Connor, the private money authority coming to you from Moorhead city, North Carolina. And my co-host with me is Chaffee Wynn from up in Chicago. Hello, Chaffee. Hey Jay, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Hope you are. Absolutely. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'm so excited about, uh, the show topic that we're going to be talking about today. And that's mine and yours biggest mistakes, top three biggest mistakes that we have made in real estate investing over the last quite a few years. But before we do that, Chaffee, let's tell the folks what we got coming up here right around the corner on July 30th, 31st and August the 1st, right here in Eastern North Carolina, we've got um, uh, my next live event coming up which is called Jay Connors Real Estate uh, Cash Flow Conference, where we talk about everything relating to real estate, particularly single family houses and getting the money. Um, so Chaffee, I'm, I want to go ahead and give folks the, um, the website where they can check it all out. And folks, you get to come for free. You can't beat the price. This is a two th valued at $2,997. You get to come for free. Uh, there's a measly $97 registration fee. Uh, so I'll give you the website folks. You can go check it out, read about all the details, but Chaffee and I are going to take just a moment and give you the highlights of what happens at the event. The website is www.jayconner, all spelled out J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash in, um, in lowercase money podcast, money podcast. Chaffee, uh, you're at all my live events uh, that we've, uh, and we've been doing these together for, I don't know, probably two and a half, three years now, I lose track of time. But let me let you go first, Chaffee, on uh, the highlights of why people would want to do everything they can to get to this event. Well, whether you're new to investing or you've been investing for a while, they want to get there to obviously learn how to get the money, right, Jay? I mean, you teach them how to get the money. A lot of uh, experienced real estate investors end up running out of cash, losing deals because they don't have the money, and new beginners don't even know how to get started because they don't have the money, and you show them how to get the money. So that's the the big piece of your boot camp. And what people don't realize is that you do real estate from beginning to end, from the finding of the deal to the selling of the deal, to the systemization and automation of the deal and of the business as well. So while finding the money is a big part of it, it's also how to find deals. It's also how to fix deals. It's how to build your team, your contractors, and also how to sell those deals and automate your business so that you can start living the lifestyle that you want. And obviously Jay, it's right there on the uh, coast on the beach, and uh, that's the kind of lifestyle a lot of people want to live. So you're going to show them how to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chaffee. The um, uh, it's, it's three days. All right. So um, this upcoming event is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, as I said, July 30th through August 1st. And again, that 30,000 foot view like Chaffee was just giving you um, the first day, a big highlight of the first day is we go on my bus tour. And this is the reason, or this is one of the reasons that we have the live event here in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. And we, and I tell you what, the networking is phenomenal. We have people come from all over the nation, from California, all the way over here to the East coast and in between. Uh, you got movers and shakers there that you get to network with. But on this bus tour, we actually go and look at my company's houses that are in all different stages. You know, um, and I mean, the, the attendees love this bus tour. There's not another one like it. We go look at houses that are, we haven't started renovation on, uh, those are under renovation, those that are finished and staged. And so I teach how we found the deals. All right. And we find deals before other real estate investors even know they exist. Uh, so finding the deals, the dollars, the profit that we're making, etc. On the bus tour, you get to meet uh, some of my dream team. The contractors that I do business with, our interior designer is there. So you get to pick their brain. So that's the bus tour. The morning of the second day or the, the second day itself, 
uh, we talk about um, the uh, the three first pillars, how we find the deals, uh, my foreclosure system. I go into detail on that. Um, and of course, more on private money. I'm going to have private lenders at the live event uh, for you to network with, uh, interview them, pick their brain. And also I talk about how we sell any house in three days or less using our special rent to own uh, selling process. The third day is all about automation, all about automation. No need to work yourself to death, you know, uh, without enjoying the wealth and the freedom that comes with it. And Chaffee, take just one more second before we, we jump into today's show topic. And that is something that's really, really near and dear to my heart and important for me is for you and, uh, and our other certified coaches to be there where we do strategy sessions. Take just a second and tell our viewers and listeners about the strategy sessions. Yeah, Jay. So I, I love coming to your events for all the reasons you mentioned, plus these strategy sessions I think are so important to the students. It's really when the student and their partner, whether it's their spouse or a business partner, uh, gets to sit down with myself or one of the other coaches that we have. And we talk about you and your business. We talk about what's holding you back, what's some of the challenges in your business, and, and how do you break through those challenges and how do you get to that next level? And obviously, you know, if you have any, if they have any questions about uh, any of your products or coaching, we answer that as well. And really, the focus is me and a coach or uh, you know, one of the other coaches and the students and the partner and really focused in depth on your business um, where you can share anything that you want with us and we'll keep it confidential and really just help you break through. And uh, the, the beautiful thing is that, you know, we get to sit there and we get to talk to individuals and we get to meet with them and get to know them. And really, you know, when that light bulb pops up in the head and says, ah, aha, oh, that's what's been holding back. Oh, that's the challenge. You know, that uh, that's the part that I love the best is really getting to see that light come on and, and, you know, people being able to move forward with their business and their life. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So again, folks, Jay Connor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. Well, you can go check it all out. All right, Chavi, let's jump in and, and not keep the folks waiting on the big, big mistakes that we've had. So I'm gonna let you kick this off and you interview me. How about that? And I'll interview you. <laughs> yeah. No. So, so Jay, you know, you've done hundreds of deals, right? You've been around the block a few times and uh, um, all your deals have made money and you never made a mistake, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, yeah. I wish, you know, Hey, here's the good news. Um, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years. I've been investing in single family houses for 15 years and let's just say, I made a lot bigger mistakes and the majority of mistakes like in the first three years <laughs> that I, that I was doing the business. Um, so I will say as of right now, my average profits are $67,000 per deal. And I'm in a small market folks. I mean, only 40,000 people. And the, the, you know, the, the moral of that story is you don't have to be in a big market to make big money. Rehab knocking on right now, 400 houses, done a lot more deals than that. We don't rehab every house, but no Chaffee. Yes. I made some big mistakes. Like I remember a, um, you know, it's the pain that we remember more than anything else. So I remember the um, $200,000 mistake in my first three years, but no, but Hey, but here's the deal. Successful real estate investors now follow a system, right? And so I did, I wasn't following a system. <laughs> I was like trying to do this business from the seat of my pants. So, so right. So be, like before we dive right into your biggest mistakes in particular, Jay, um, I do want to say that, you know, you and I, and, and I'm not bragging about this by any means, only you and I have lost, probably more money than most people have made. The key is we're still doing it, right? We're still moving forward. That's and so right. for everybody out there that's afraid that they're going to make a mistake in real estate investing, just realize you probably will sometime in your career. And what we want to do on this show and working with you, Jay, is really minimizing those mistakes so that you don't make the huge mistakes that we make. You make smaller mistakes and then you learn from them and you move forward, right? Because that, that's the key is 
learning from your mistakes. If you never learn from your mistakes, you're you're going to be stuck and you're never going to move forward, right? Exactly. You just said something that's really important to me, Chaffee, and that is we're still here doing it. So I, I, I got a phrase uh, to share with everybody, and that is it is impossible for you to fail. I should have your attention by now. It's impossible for you to fail until you decide to quit. That's it. Absolutely. So with that, Jay, shall we count down to the mistakes or should we count up or how do you want to <laughs> count? The mistakes that you made? <laughs> well, uh, let me, let me go. So we're doing the top three, at least my top three. All right. Um, so my first one, all right. That comes that comes to mind. My first biggest mistake, and the reason this is the biggest mistake is because this encompasses everything to do with real estate investing. And that is, I started out trying to do this business on my own without a mentor, without a coach. You know what I did, Chad? You know how I started this business? Coach. I read, go ahead. I said, how did you start the business, Jay? I read books. Okay. I read books, right? Yeah. Like, now, hey, look, I'm not saying don't read books. Well, I am saying only read good, credible books <laughs> from people that know what they're talking about. But um, so, you know, I didn't, I, and, you know, I didn't get a coach. I didn't get a mentor. I didn't get the training that I really need from someone that's already been through the minefields that's already lost the hundreds of thousands of dollars by, you know, not doing it. So, I mean, my land, here's, here's what I, here's what I say to my students and, and people across the U S I mean, I've been doing the business 15 years. I've been training other real estate investors now as of this show um, for seven and a half years. Okay. Teaching how I do the business. But I tell folks, you know what, you're going to pay for your education one way or the other, you know, right it's going to be a lot less expensive if you work with a well-qualified coach and mentor right. than what you're going to, I mean, I promise you without getting a good coach or mentor, you will be going to a lot of seminars and paying for a lot of seminars that you do not intend to attend. Right. Is what I'm saying. How about you, Chavi? That's my big one. Yeah. I want to say a couple of things that you brought up. First of all is reading a book. I mean, think about riding a bike, right? Learning how to ride a bike. Can you imagine you read a book on how to ride a bike and then you get on a bike and all of a sudden you're a perfect writer. I mean, it just doesn't happen, right? I mean, you're going to fall up one way or another until you figure out your balance, regardless of how good the book is or how detailed it is until you actually get on the bike and ride it, you know, you're going to, you're going to experience some challenges. And, you know, when you have the coach or the trainer, they're holding that bike for you and stabilizing it. That's when you don't fall off. Right. Or that's when you minimize those falls and you don't get hurt as much. And so reading a book is great. It's going to give you that information, except you still need somebody there to support you, to help you, to guide you and to give you those pointers that, you know, maybe the book didn't cover for you. Um, and then secondly is what always amazes me about this business, this real estate business uh, to begin with, is that people think that they can just jump in and do a multi hundred thousand dollar deal, make 30, 20, 30 thousand dollars and, you know, go along the merry day when, you know, in real life, when they get a job, they go through high school for 12 years. Then they go through college for four years and then they get on job and they have on the job training. And that takes a couple years before they master it. I mean, can you imagine a doctor saying, hey, I'm going to read a couple books and then I'm going to do some surgery and figure it out. <laughs> and then, you know, once I do that, then it's going to be successful and I can make a lot of money. Right. And it's kind of the same mentality here is that instead of going through school, getting an education or getting a mentor to show you how to do things, I'm just going to go and look for some properties, buy it, sell it, fix it up and make a ton of money. And, you know, it, it, you're going to make mistakes. If you don't have that mentor, if you don't have that coach, you don't have that, that person that's going to guide you through and teach you what you do, mistakes are going to happen and you're, and you're going to put yourself in some hot water. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. Uh, number two, my number two big mistake was or is not having 
multiple exit strategies. In other words, I started out in this business where all I had was plan A. All right. I didn't have plan B. I didn't have plan C. And here's what I'm talking about. Well, let me just tell a quick story. All right. For example, so this was like within the first three years or so of me doing the business and the market was really hot. I mean, really hot as it is now, you know, I mean, it's not all the way back, but it sure has come a long way. Right. So I invest and I buy this um, oceanfront condominium over on Atlantic beach where we're having the live event. And so I'm all excited and it needed, it needed rehab. Here's the bottom line, Chaffee. Bought, bought the condo and rehabbed it, turned it into the most beautiful, really the most beautiful interior of, that was my goal. More, more beautiful than any other condo in, in the development and put it on the market and sell it, flip it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so from the time I bought it, got it rehabbed, got it ready to put in the multiple listing service. And, you know, I'm looking for that, you know, $50,000, you know, turn. The market had already turned. The pricing had already turned. And so often, like down in Florida, California, any kind of resort areas, the resort areas get hurt worse and first than, than primary single family houses, you know? And so, man, that reminds me of another big mistake I made. But anyway, <laughs> So anyway, here's the deal. I had not planned on having to rent that condominium out. So I did not research and know what that condominium would rent for summertime, weekly, monthly, you know, out of season. I found out very, and I had no choice. I mean, I mean, for the price, I mean, I couldn't even sell it for what I had in it. Mm. All right. I was upside down. All right. So I had no choice. I mean, to stop the bleeding to some degree, get that thing on the rental market. And so I had not prepared. I had not done my research to see what's the rental income. Well, guess what? The rental income would not cover the carrying cost. The rental income would not cover the, the interest, you know, uh, the mortgage on, on the property. Um, it wouldn't cover, you know, the HOA dues and et cetera. So, I mean, for a few years, that thing printed red ink every year. So what's the lesson learned? Before I buy any property now, I got to have at least my plan B. All right. There actually is a plan C. My plan B is, okay, I'm going to rent it out. Well, let's go ahead and give, let's go ahead and give them three, three, three exit strategies right now on this particular story. Perfect. Um, so you can flip it, mm -hmm. and it or if you're not going to flip it and I, and I teach in detail, as you know, Chaffee at the live event detail, step by step, how I can sell any house in three days or less. That's my rent to own system and process. So I can get a large non-refundable option fee from a buyer. And, you know, it's their, their credit is not as involved in them being able to buy that house. I force them into credit repair. So I can sell it on rent to own, get a big non-refundable, you know, option fee, which will be applied to their down payment. Or I can just rent it out. Quite frankly, I don't like to just rent out because I don't like tenants and toilets. Right. So, but I can sell on rent to own. But here's the bottom line, folks. Here's the bottom line. You got to be prepared on, okay, if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to rent it, Will the income I bring in per month cover my, uh, you know, cover the carrying costs, you know, and I want a positive cash flow. I have not made that mistake since. Thank goodness. So um, have you experienced anything like that yourself, Chaffee, on that kind of mistake? Oh, yeah. You know, what? when the market crashed in 2007, 2008, you know, everybody at the time was saying, hey, the stock market crashes. The real estate market just goes down slowly. 
Well, if you live through that period, you know that the real estate market did not go down slowly. It just like nosedive real quick. So I, I know that uh, the pain associated to that. And I had to, you know, rent some properties out and, and take some losses and hits along the way as well. So yeah, um, absolutely. You want multiple exit strategies, uh, plan ahead. And that also brings up the point of when you work with the right people, when you work with the right system, you're going to learn how to make your profits up front when you buy, when you buy right versus having to figure everything out on the back end when you have to sell or, or hold on. So you always exactly. want to buy, you make your money when you buy. Yeah. Right? Well, and, and us talking about multiple strategies also reminds me, you know, one thing I teach at the live event is how to receive multiple checks on every deal, you know? So yeah, multiple exit strategies, but let's get multiple checks. Like, you know, I dive deep on how to get a big check when you buy. So, you know, we go big time into private money and how to get the money quickly for your deals. Well, when using private money, I never take cash to a closing. I get a check, you know, sell on rent to own, get a big option, you know, non refundable option fee. When I go to cash out, get another big check. But we'll go into that detail, you know, at the live event. My number three big one, Chaffee, unless you got something right now. You no, I was going to ask you about your next uh, big mistake that you had there. You got it. Well, here's here. Hey, I have many more, but this is my last one for this show. All right. Uh, and so my third one is, and I sort of mentioned it when we started the show and that was, I wasn't following a system. Yep. I didn't have, I mean, I was trying to run the, the business from the seat of my pants. I did not have a system or a process and, and, and a big part of systems and processes is it being consistent, all right? So I didn't have a consistent process for finding deals, getting seller leads. And I learned the hard way that unless I've got a consistent deal flow of prospective sellers coming into my pipeline, I'm out of business, you know, unless I'm in the buy and hold, you know, program, which I'm not. Um, so, and I didn't have a system, a regular system for getting my funding. You know, I was relying on banks. I learned what happened there when you get cut off. Right. But that was a big blessing. That's why, you know, I'm so big on teaching, uh, private money, uh, and not relying on the banks. You know, I didn't have a system really for selling houses other than just put them in the MLS. You know, I was stuck. I mean, I was totally under the control and power of the market. But when we have exit, uh, multiple exit strategies, I create my own market. All right. I'm not stuck with just one market. So not following a process and system. How about you? I agree with you hundred percent with that system piece there, Jay. And, and you know what, what a system also helps you do is overcome this thing we called analysis paralysis, where you tend to overthink something when you're looking at a deal for, five days and during that time period that you're looking at this deal is this a deal is this not a deal what should i do here what should i do that somebody's already made an offer and and purchased the deal and it's no longer a deal for you and by the time you make that offer it's oh well we already sold it right because you've overthought the certain things and when you follow a system and it lays out this is the numbers this is the math this is the calculations does it fit in here or does it fit in there and you just do what the system tells you to do you overcome those challenges and you follow the system and you, you know, make, start making deals and you'll learn along the way as well versus just sitting there mulling in your own thought process <laughs> and getting more and more depressed because you're not making any deals, you know, follow the system and, and that will help move you forward. Exactly. Well, Chaffee, we're about to run out of time here on, uh, on the show, but um, how about give uh, if you have something come to mind, uh, give the viewers and listeners, uh, give them a bonus uh, mistake from, from your world. And of course, what we do on the show, I'm really going to put you in a corner now, Chaffee. What we normally do on the show, folks, is we will um, end the show up with some personal development uh, nuggets and mindset. So see if you can bring that in to what we've been talking about in this world of mistakes and real estate investing. Well, that, and that's a perfect to tie in because the biggest mistake that I think a lot of new investors and even seasoned investors have is not coming into this business with the right mindset. So you have to come into this business with the right mindset. A lot of new investors fail 
because they want to dabble in this real estate investing thing. And you really have to treat real estate investing like a business because guess what? It is a business, right? It's not like a business. It is a business. And when you do this part time and you think, oh, well, I can just make some offers here. I can just make some phone calls here and just dabble in this business. You end up doing nothing or losing money. So coming in with a right mindset of saying, hey, this is a business and there are certain things that I need to do. And really thinking of at the end of the week, if I was my own boss, which you are, right? <laughs> Would I fire myself? Did I do what I needed to do in my business, in my job to succeed in this business? Or did I get busy with my family? Did I get busy with this TV show and I didn't make the phone calls? I didn't make the offers. And so coming into this with the right mindset and treating this like a business and following a system like a franchise, right? And getting a trainer, a coach, or a mentor that shows you how to do everything and really working this like a business is is key and the people that don't treat it like that that don't come in that way that just read a book and think they can make offers on the mls those are the people that don't succeed those are the people that end up making mistakes so having the right mindset coming into this business and treating it like a business is, is critical and and that's the one mistake that i think a lot of investors make yeah Not well what you, yeah what you just said also triggered this thought and that is running it like a business so when I say I started out running this business from the seat of my pants, what that meant was I'd go throughout the day doing whatever came to mind at the moment. Right. You're not running your business when you're doing that. Your business is running you. Right. So I heard decades ago, um, a mentor of mine, not in this business, but in another industry said, Jay, you got to plan your work and you got to work your plan. All right. So we got to have your weekly goals. You got to have your not goals, but you know, what's going to get, get accomplished. And of course we dive all into that into, into the live event. So, um, all right, folks, we're going to call this a wrap in just a second. Um, if you are on, uh, if you're on watching on YouTube, we love to hear who's watching in the comment below, uh, put your name, first name, what city and state you're from. Love to hear from you and uh, be sure and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up so you don't miss out on the information. If you're listening on iTunes, of course, subscribe, rate, and review. Subscribe, rate, and review. And you also may be watching uh, this on Facebook. All right. So if you're there, uh, we love to hear uh, where you are, uh, who you are, and uh, also give us a thumbs up. Even better, give us lots of love. Send me lots of hearts. <laughs> I need lots of love here on the show. And then, uh, of course, uh, subscribe as well. So, Chaffee, thank you for joining me for another episode here on the show. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. All right. And I look forward to seeing you at the upcoming live event uh, that we got on July 30, 31 and August 1st. So folks, go check it out. Jay Connor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash all in lowercase money podcast. So until the next show, folks, here's wishing you all the best and taking your business to the next level. Catch you on the next show.